Now to Boulder, where we got a first look at a critical part in an upcoming NASA mission focused on one of Jupiter's moons. The $50 million device is called the Europa Surface Dust Analyzer. It'll be aboard the Europa Clipper when it launches in 2024. Connor McHugh, live at CU Boulder's laboratory for atmospheric and space physics. And Connor, this marks a big milestone for this mission. Yeah, Karen, researchers here have been analyzing, testing, and engineering this device for several years now, but soon it'll be headed out of state to eventually be added on to the final space spacecraft that'll be headed to one of Jupiter's moons. Now, this right here we're showing you a video of is the engineering model of the Surface Dust Analyzer, or SUDA for short. It's one of nine devices that'll be aboard the NASA spacecraft headed to Jupiter's icy moon Europa about two years from now. Now, once there, it will do repeated flybys of the moon, each time collecting surface particles ejected into the air and then analyzing them for organic compounds. The whole purpose of this mission is to determine if the faraway moon with subsurface oceans can harbor life. If you know how you how life has started and how rare is it actually? Is it really just possible on Earth? Yeah? Are there other words? This tells you a lot about um, how to put things into perspective. It also helps you to um, understand many processes where we see the, the end state. We've built instruments for, for uh, all the planets, to study all the planets in the solar system, plus Pluto. And, and so that we've done a lot of cool stuff, and this, to me, is on par with a lot of those other accomplishments. Now, while the SUDA will leave here in a few weeks, that launch is not until 2024. After that, it could take up to six years to get out to that moon. Then they'll start doing these flybys the year after that. Live in Boulder, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.